Yo, what's going on YouTube? Energetic here, back with another video. So for today's video, I'm going to be going over the new Moment of the Week 7 set that 2K just dropped, literally, bruh. And we're just going to be looking at the players and doing an overall review of this set and just seeing if it's worth to go for or not some of these players. So you can see we've got Jimmy Butler, Jalen Brown, Jaron Jackson Jr., Davis Bertans, Ruri Hachimura. We've got Aaron Gordon, Nemanja Belyaitza, whatever that dude's name is, Frank Kaminsky, and Lonnie Walker. So we're going to go ahead and just look at some of the main cards here, which first we'll look at this Jimmy Butler, which is a diamond. 95 overall shooting guard slash small, or excuse me, small forward slash shooting guard. And obviously he just came out, so he's going to be going for tons of MT. I'm just going to look at him, any random one, and we're going to compare him to one of the guys that I have because 2K always makes me do that for some reason. Let's compare him to, hmm, man, you know, who shall we... How about Jerome Kersey? I don't know why it's just a diamond small forward. So we're going to compare a diamond small forward to another diamond small forward. So let's see. We've got a driving layup of 94. Post fade 82. Pretty decent. Draw foul 90. Mid range 82. 3.85. Not bad with the coach. Depending on who you have your coach, I'd go up to like a 90 or 89. Free throw 86. Driving dunk 85. So, you know, he could shoot. He could, he'd, um, he could attack the basket. Let's see what else. The ball handle 86, IQ 84, accuracy 85. Seems pretty decent, pretty good. Perimeter defense 95, steal 94. And you know that, I like that, man. I like speed 88, speed of ball 84, acceleration 88. So not bad, bro. Like, and, and we've got what? Lateral quickness at 95 as well. So he's going to be a great defender. You already know that. Um, Let's take a look at his badges. He's got six Hall of Fame compared to Jerome Kersey's zero. <laughs> so... We've got volume shooter, contact finisher, difficult shots, trapper, off ball passing, clamps. Amazing. Amazing. I'm good. I'm glad that they made them the Hall of Fame badges basically defensive for him. Um, he's got a few shooting ones in there, but I'm glad that he has clamps on Hall of Fame because that's a must. So we, for gold, he's got 27. So we got put back boss, Tyler shooter, slippery off ball, pickpocket. He has range extender. Wow. Okay. Pick dodger. You know, you know 2K is really starting to make these cards OP, bro. Low key. Teardropper, Defensive Leader, Heart Crusher, Interceptor, Intimidator as well. I might have to pick him up just for that reason. Lightning Reflexes, Quick Draw, Pogo Stick, Tireless Defender, Hot Start, Consistent Finisher, Corner Specialist, Fancy Footwork, Pro Touch, Showtime, Bailout, Space Creator, Stop and Go, Clutch Shooter, Dead Eye, Green Machine, and then Silver, Pump Fake Maestro, and Bronze Acrobat. So, solid card, bro. He could do everything that you need him to do. He can shoot. He can play defense he can attack the basket those are the main three things that you you know that you'd really want in a small forward shooting guard type player so we're gonna move on to the next one which is Jalen Brown he's also a diamond I, honestly I didn't know Jalen Brown had a good game for him to be getting a moment of the week card but hey man I'm not gonna complain we're just gonna compare him to who shall I compare this man to shooting guard shooting guards Doug West D'Angelo Russell Devin Booker let's compare him to Desmond Mason because I know a lot of people like Desmond Mason. So let's look. Driving layup, 86. Uh, let's see. Not really good in the post. Draw foul, 86. Close shot, 87. Mid range, 88. 3.89. That's good because that can go up to 94, 95 potentially. I mean, 93, 94 with a coach. And you put a shoe on him, GG, bro. Uh, 84 free throw. Driving duck, 95. So another shooter, another somebody who could shoot and also attack the basket. Ball handle is almost the same as Jimmy Butler, 86, 82. And 86 ball handle, 82 pass IQ, 82 pass accuracy. Steel, 92. Perimeter defense, 85. This is looking like a Jimmy Butler clone, bro. Like, <laughs> I don't know if anybody else is picking up on this, but this is looking like the same thing as Jimmy Butler. Just a little bit less, like, athletic. And maybe just a better shooter, though. I don't know, man. They, they look kind of identical, to be honest. But let's look at his badges. He's got seven Hall of Fame badges. So, man, that's crazy. So we got Showtime, Fast Break Finisher, Trapper, Tireless Defender, Pogo Stick, Pick Dodger, and Lob City Finisher. Not really amazing Hall of Fame badges, but I mean, I'll take some Hall of Fame badges, right? It's better than not having any. Um, so he has 27 gold. So we've got Pickpocket, Putback Boss, Chase Down Artist, Clamps, Interceptor, Off Ball Pest, Relentless Finisher, Acrobat, Difficult Shots, Consistent Finisher, Contact Finisher, Cross Key Scorer, Fancy Footwork, Corner Specialist, Giant Slayer, Pro Touch, Catch and Shooter, Slithery Finisher, Space Creator, Deep Fades, Flexible Release, Green Machine, Hot Start, Quick Draw, Slippery Off Ball, Tyler Shooter, Volume Shooter. So, 
What's the main difference between this card and Jimmy Butler? Well, Jimmy Butler is going to be a better defender because he has clamps on Hall of Fame. He also has Intimidator on gold. Jalen Brown does not have Intimidator at all. Um, so if you want the better defender, go for Jimmy Butler. But Jalen Brown is also a good defender. But if you want a better shooter, go for Jalen Brown because he has a higher three ball. So that will be the difference between those two cards. Now we're going to move on to Jaron Jackson. Moving on to some Amethyst here. Power forward center. We're going to definitely not compare him to Sergi Bach. He's going to get outclassed way too much. Let's compare him to Kevin Garnett. I know a lot of people have this Kevin Garnett, so we're going to compare him to Kevin Garnett. 6'11", both. So this is perfect. So, oh my gosh, look at all that green on the right. All right, so it's clear to see that uh, Jaron Jackson is, I mean, he's, he's a decent post player, you know, post player. Uh, he has 85 post fade, 86 post hook, 85 post moves, draw foul 84, close shot 90. And he can shoot, bro. 89 mid range, 85 three, 82 free throw, 95 standing dunk, 80 driving dunk. So not bad. Like he seems pretty solid on that aspect. 93 block. His interior defense is only an 83 though, which is, oof. I mean, if you're going up against those diamond and pink diamond centers and power forwards, it's going to kind of uh, be a little bit of a downfall for you. But he does have 71 perimeter defense, which is good for a big man. And his rebounding is 92 and 92, which is okay. Um, let's see what else. Badges, badges, badges. One Hall of Fame badge, 23 gold. So we've got Pogo Stick on Hall of Fame. And then we've got for gold, corner specialist, pick and popper, brick wall, post spin technician, put back boss, quick draw, lob city finisher, rim protector, chase down artist, box, clamps. Wow, he has clamps. Okay, intimidator, moving truck, catch and shoot, post move, lockdown, tireless defender, back down, punisher, cross key scorer, pick and roller, showtime, dream shake, green machine, hot zone hunter. So, not bad, you know. He's a decent card, you know, he can shoot and he can play some defense for a big man. So, if you want like a stretch big, I think this is a good pickup for you. Now we're gonna move on to Davis Bertans, 90 overall amethyst card as well. He's already going for cheap, well not dirt cheap, but you know, pretty cheap. So we're gonna compare him to hmm, Dirk Nowitzki. No, 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 Cliff Robinson. We'll compare him to Cliff Robinson. So uh, let's see, Davis Bertans, pulse fade 84. 82 close shot, 92 mid range, 94 three point shots. So this is this is another stretch. Um, big man that they've added to the set with a coach bro that's going up to 98 potentially 99 bro that's crazy free throw 88 and he's not really athletic like that so his dunking is not nothing crazy his defense is bad Oof, that's tough rebounding is bad Oof, yikes man bro not looking too good for my man's davis bertans bro hmm yikes but he's got catch and shoot on hall of fame pick and popper then he had 10 gold badges, corner specialist, volume shooter, clutch shooter, flexible release, green machine, hot zone hunter, quick draw, range extender, slippery off ball, tireless shooter. And then he has steady shooter on silver, man. So, I, I mean, I don't know, man. This card is, uh, he could play small forward too. So, I don't know, man. Not really a fan of this. Won't be using this at all. He can't play any defense. He could just shoot like lights out, but yikes, bro. That's about it. Now, we're just going to look into Rui Hachimura, and then we're going to look into Aaron Gordon. And then I'm probably, that's probably going to be it for this video. And then I'll, I might, I'll open one pack at the end. So stay tuned for that. But Rui Hachimura, or I don't even know if I'm saying his name right, but we're just going to stick with that. He's a power forward. Let's compare him to another power forward that I have. That's a Ruby. I mean, all right, we're going with Sharif Abdul Rahim. So Rui Hachimura, what is he good at? So he has decent post game, 85 post fade, 84 post hook. Mid-range 92, 3.76, not bad for a big man. Goes up to an 80 with a coach or maybe 81, depending on what your coach is. Free throw 90, standing dunk 85, driving dunk 85. So athletic, you know, not bad. Uh, his passing is actually very good for a big man in the 70s. Usually you don't see that. Uh, interior defense is 80. Rebounding 82 and 82. And, I mean, you can see he's kind of better. He's a lot better than this. Sharif Abdul Rahim that I'm comparing him to but let's look at his badges 18 gold compared to 8 by Sharif so we've got catch and shoot pick and popper teardropper quick draw man I feel like quick draws on every card that they release nowadays relentless finisher postman technician put back boss lob city finisher pogo stick consistent finisher contact finisher cross key score pick and roller fast break finisher pro touch showtime green machine hot zone hunter excuse me that I'm talking so fast man I'm just trying to get through this very very quick because I don't want to hold you guys for too long 
but um so Rui Hachimura you know not a bad card if you know you're a budget player now we're gonna look in Eric Gordon now and this is gonna be the last card that we look at we're also gonna compare him to Sharif Abdul Rahim here he is and attributes so we've got he's got absolutely no post game so don't even try it bro <laughs> but he's got a mid-range and he's got a three-point shot so that's what he got going for him we, we all know Aaron Gordon can shoot, and we know his dunking is going to be crazy. 95 standing, 95 driving dunk. We knew that was going to be crazy. Um, let's see what else. His defense really isn't the greatest. 70s across the board. Uh, his rebounding is also 70s. But his athleticism is where this card is going to thrive. So he's a 97 vertical. And for his badges, he's got two Hall of Fame badges. Showtime and Lob City Finisher. That's to be expected. 14 gold. We've got quick draw, put back balls, pick pocket, pick dodger, chase down artist, pump break maestro, heart crusher, intimidator, off ball pass trapper, pick and roller, fast break finisher, pick and popper, hot start, and he has clamps on silver. So, I mean, that makes up for his lack of defense and the attributes that he has silver clamps and he has intimidator on gold. So, that's this is actually a pretty decent card now that I think about it. You can run him at the three, you know, do some damage with him because he can shoot and he can attack the basket. So, this is actually probably going to be a good card. I think it might be better than the the Rui Hachimura. I'm I don't even know if I'm saying that right, but all right. So now we're gonna open up a pack because why not, bro? We can get a, a random diamond or we'll open up one single pack because I'm at 215,000 MT and we're trying to save up here. We're not trying to spend more spend our stuff, but we're gonna open up the the most expensive one, which would be the 6,000 MT one, right? Yeah. So wish me luck, fellas. Let's see what we can. Uh, Get ourselves here. If we get ourselves a diamond Jimmy Butler, you have to subscribe. There's literally no other way about it, bro. I and mean, my voice just cracked. And I get an emerald. Julius Randle. Yes, yes. Exactly what I wanted, bro. At least I didn't have him before. So it's not like I'm about to sell him or anything. But that's going to be it for the video, guys, man. Let me know what your thoughts about these cards, man. If you're going to be going for any of these. Oh, wait. I forgot to show you. If you complete all of these cards. Or if you collect all of these cards, you get yourself. Oh. I'm on moments of the week one. I'm a retard, bro. You guys have 100 tokens. So, I mean, I'm not going to say that's the greatest reward, but it's better than moments of the week. What was it? Four? 50,000 MT? Yeah, okay, bro. I'm not doing that. you funny, bro. But yeah, you get yourself 100 tokens. But yeah, but that's going to be it for the video, man. Um, Make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you subscribe. We're on the road to 300 subscribers, man. We're really trying to hit that by the end of this month. If you guys can help me out with that, I'll really, 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 really appreciate it, man. Um, let me know what your thoughts are about these cards. What cards do you want to go for? What cards are you like really anxious to pick up for your team, man? Yeah, let me know that in the comment section down below, and I'm going to catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.